Hi, everybody. This is Pastor Brian Speroni from the Pasco Community Baptist Church with a few thoughts for you for Wednesday evening. I've been asked questions recently like, why would people go into the grocery stores and grab all the essentials and hoard them for themselves and not leave any on the shelves for other people? And why would people buy all these essentials and then go home and try to sell them to others at exorbitant prices? And is this part of the fulfillment of Bible prophecy of the last days? And the answer to that question is yes. In 2 Timothy 3.1, the Apostle Paul says, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. And then he lists uh, items to look for in the last days. And the first two apply. The first one is, For men shall be lovers of their own selves. Why would they grab all these essentials and leave nothing for anybody else? It's because they're only concerned about themselves. Men should be lovers of their own selves. And then why would they buy these things and then try to resell them at, at exorbitant prices? It's because of the next thing on the list, covetousness. And so, yes, this is the fulfillment of last day's Bible prophecy. Now, I'm no date setter. I don't believe in that. Jesus said, no man knows the day of the hour of his return. But the reality is, we're also told not to be ignorant of the times and seasons. And the truth is, even without these signs, every day that we live, we are one day closer to the coming of the Lord, which I personally believe is closer than we realize. But no matter when he comes, the important thing is be ready. Now, if you're not a Christian, if you've never trusted Christ as your Savior, if you've never opened your heart and received him to wash your sins away and give you everlasting life and make you a child of God, you're not ready. You can't even begin to be ready because you can't be ready to meet God if you don't know God. And the only way to know him is through faith in his son, Jesus Christ. So that's your greatest need. But if you are a Christian, there are a few things you need to be doing in order for you to be ready so that you won't be ashamed when the Lord returns. For instance, you need to live right. Now, I know we're not perfect. We all sin. But when you sin, confess it quickly and get it out of the way. Put it behind you and live your life in such a way that is pleasing to the Lord. And then the second thing is not just live right, but love the Lord. Love the Lord. Put him first in your life. Surrender and yield yourself to him. Walk close to him. And the way you walk close to him is by being faithful in your Bible reading and your prayer time. So love the Lord and love the things of the Lord. And then you want to serve the Lord. And the way you serve the Lord is by serving others. That's why Paul said in Galatians 5.13, by love serve one another. And then be a witness for the Lord. According to Philippians 2.16, we are supposed to be holding forth the word of life, telling others how they can find eternal life through faith in Jesus Christ. I don't know when Jesus is coming. Nobody does. But the important thing is be ready. And that's my challenge to you this evening. Be ready for the Lord's return. Jesus said in Matthew 24, 44, Be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. Now, next week on Sunday morning, 10 o'clock, I'll be back on my Facebook page uh, once again to preach the Word of God uh, with a special Palm Sunday message. Since we uh, uh, this is the Sunday we traditionally celebrate the triumphal entry of Jesus into Jerusalem. So I hope you can join us Sunday morning, 10 o'clock, right here on my Facebook page. I'll preach live, and then once I'm done preaching, the message will then be posted on our church Facebook page, Pasco Community Baptist Church. God bless you, everybody. Hope you can join us on Sunday morning.